Hello and welcome. Let us discuss order of the Butterworth filter in this video. We know Butterworth approximation function is monotically decreasing function. We are trying to approximate ideal frequency response. This is the ideal frequency response which has a constant magnitude over the passband and zero magnitude over the stop band. So we are trying to approximate this ideal frequency response with this Butterworth approximation function. In the previous video, we concluded that as the order of the Butterworth filter increases, this magnitude response becomes close to the ideal frequency response, which we want to achieve. We want to achieve the ideal frequency response. But as the order of the filter increases, cost of the product automatically increases due to the hardware requirement increases. So we should find the minimum value of n order of the filter which satisfy our frequency specification. We know the magnitude square response of Butterworth filter is 1 upon 1 plus ohm upon ohm c raised to 2n where n is the order of the filter and ohm c is the minus 3 dB cutoff frequency. So here we can say that to get the Butterworth approximation function we should know two parameters that is n order of the filter and ohm c minus 3 dB cutoff frequency. In this video, we are deriving the formula to find the order of the filter. Let's start. This is magnitude specification for this magnitude square response. The magnitude square response varies between AP square to 1, AP square to 1 in the pass band and it varies between 0 to A square, 0 to A square between the stop band between this stop band. To find the order of the filter, we can use this magnitude specification. First note that this magnitude specification can be given in a different form. It can be in the form of gain that is AP and AS or sometimes it can be given in the form of attenuation. So first we will derive the formula where this magnitude specification is given in the form of passband gain and stop band gain, AP and AS. Let's start. This is the magnitude square response. This is the magnitude specification. In the pass band, magnitude square response varies between AP square to 1 and in the stop band 0 to AS square. This specification we are using to find the order of the filter. So we are considering this specification magnitude square response less than or equal to A square and magnitude square response greater than or equal to AP square. Let's simplify these equations. We are putting the value of magnitude square response 1 upon 1 plus ohm upon ohm c raised to 2n. When we are considering stop band specification, this ohm value become ohm s. Let's solve this. We are taking this a square to this side and this term in the numerator to this side. So 1 plus ohm s upon ohm c raised to 2n greater than or equal to 1 upon a square. This my 1 we are taking to this side, it becomes minus 1. Now for this equation again we are putting the value of amplitude square response in this place and we are simplifying similar to this equation. So when we are changing the this term to the numerator and this term to the denominator this sign also changes. Let's simplify more. So we will continue with these two equations. Yes. Now here instead of this greater than equal to and less than equal to we are considering the equality only. To determine order n and ohm c we assume the equality in the above equation. So this becomes equal to. Now we will take the ratio of this equation and this equation. Take the ratio. 
Now while taking the ratio, we are taking the ratio of this equation divided by this equation. Ohm S upon Ohm C raised to 2N divided by Ohm P upon Ohm C raised to 2N. Or you can take reverse also this equation divided by this equation. We will see what will be the change later. Now we will take the ratio and we will simplify this. To get the value of n, we will take the log from the, both the sides. Take a log from both the sides. We will separate this 2n term. 2n log ohm s upon ohm p is equal to this term. And n is equal to 1 half log 1 upon a square minus 1 divided by 1 upon a p square minus 1 divided by log ohm s upon ohm p. This is the order of the filter. Now, here we have taken the ratio of this equation divided by this equation. If we are taking the reverse, we are taking this ratio divided, this equation divided by this equation. That means this term will come into the numerator and this term come into the denominator. So, exactly reverse you will get in the order of the filter. What you will get? 1 half log. 1 upon AP square, instead of A square, you will get AP square minus 1 divided by 1 upon A square minus 1. And in the denominator also, you will get the reverse log Ohm P upon Ohm S. So, both are correct. But generally, we are taking this ratio. So, N is equal to 1 half log 1 upon A square minus 1 divided by 1 upon AP square minus 1 divided by log Ohm S upon Ohm P is the order of the filter. Whenever we are getting the value of N, always select the closest higher integer value. Means for example, suppose we will get 2.3, I will consider order of the filter N is equal to 3. Now different way to represent the order. In many reference book, you may find the different equations for order of the filter. Let us understand what is that. This is the order of the filter which we have derived. It is n is equal to 1 half log 1 upon a square minus 1 divided by 1 upon a p square minus 1 divided by log ohm s n divided by ohm p. In this case, this a p and a s is the gain at pass band edge frequency and stop band edge frequency in a linear form. Always these values are less than 1. Sometimes you may find the filter specifications are given in the form of db gain at the pass band and stop band edge frequency. In this case you have to convert this linear value and then only you can use this formula. So we know the conversion formula. AP in dB is 20 log AP. And if we want this linear value, AP is equal to 10 raised to AP value in dB divided by 20. Similarly for stop band. So we can convert this dB specification into the linear specification to use this formula always remember whenever this gain stop band and pass band edge frequency gain is given in db always this value is less than zero and means negative another different way for filter specification is sometimes filter specifications are given in the terms of db attenuation alpha at pass band and stop band edge frequency. In this case, we have to convert them to the linear gain to use the above formula which we have derived right now or we can directly put the dB value to using the relation between linear gain and your dB attenuation. Let's see. When alpha attenuation in dB we can convert this alpha into the linear value using this relation. We already discussed this relation. Alpha is equal to 10 raised to alpha p in a dB divided by 20. Same for the stop band specification. So alpha is the 
attenuation at stop band and pass band edge frequency. This is the order of the filter where we can directly put this alpha in dB value. It is log under root of or instead of under root you can take here one half. 10 raised to 0.1 alpha s dB minus 1 divided by 10 raised to 0.1 alpha p dB minus 1 divided by log of ohm s upon ohm p. So in this case the attenuation value in dB you can directly put here. Always remember this dB value is positive. If you check the dB gain and dB attenuation both are numerically same but the dB gain is negative that is less than 0 and dB attenuation is positive. So this is the formula where you can put dB attenuation directly. This formula we have derived from the previous derivation using this relation. And we already discussed the relation between gain and attenuation in the previous video. So you may find the specifications in a different way and according to specification your order of the filter formula changes. In this formula of order of the filter, AS that is the gain at stop band edge frequency and AP that is gain at pass band edge frequency both are in linear form means less than 1. In case this AS and AP are given in dB, in that case we can use this formula to convert this dB value to the linear values and we can use this formula to find the order of the filter. And if the amplitude specifications are given in attenuation or generally attenuations expressed in the form of dB. dB value in case of attenuation is always greater than 1. Numerically the gain in dB and attenuation in dB are both same value but AP or gain in dB is negative and attenuation in dB is positive. And if you want to stick to one formula only, you can use this relations. So attenuation in dB you can convert into the linear value of attenuation and then you can use this relation AP is equal to 1 upon linear attenuation same for stop band to use this formula. This is the order of the Butterworth filter. Again I will highlight some point at the end. The attenuation in normal value is the inverse of the gain. The attenuation is usually expressed in dB. The gain at edge frequency is always less than 1. And attenuation value in normal is greater than 1 because of this inverse relation. Then dB attenuation and gain attenuation in dB both are numerically same. Only the gain dB is negative less than 0 and attenuation in dB is greater than 0 that is the positive. So you can use any formula to find the order of the filter according to the specifications given. And if you want to stick to any one formula, use this conversation technique to stick to one formula. Thank you.